Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the We Do Stuff Minecraft server. So we are here on top of the nether. I uh, spent about an hour or so kind of breaking bedrock. Good to know that the breaking bedrock trick with the trees, the dark oak, still works. It works pretty well and it seems like the more you do it, the better it works. So like you plant a tree, you chop off the bottom, plant another tree, it won't work. You do it a couple more times and it works. If you do it again, it'll work. Each time, each successful time it works seems to, maybe it's just my luck, but seems to increase the effectiveness of it. But I've got a nice little path and I brought some villagers up here, as you can hear. And I built this. Now, this isn't complete by any stretch of the imagination. This was proof of concept to see whether this would work. And as you can see, it's ugly shit because I just used whatever hell blocks I had. This is a new villager breeder. This design was come up with, was come up with? <laughs> the person who came up with this design is Pink Eyes Gonzalez. And if I remember, I will link to his channel in the description. He came up with this design, which is pretty damn simple. His is way more complex than this. This is just the casing. He's got a redstone clock on here with uh, dispensers to automatically grow the wheat. I've just been manually growing it with bone meal, but ran out. And you use potatoes and carrots because... I guess the breeding on this is actually... No, oh, Witten's having some problems with his uh, video card driver. Not fun. But, um, where was I? Oh, yeah, I, I didn't need to have the automatic because I don't have a whole ton of bone meal. And I figured I would just do this AFK and let these guys do their thing. But for now, I wanted to make sure this worked, and I got a villager. And I've learned a whole lot about new mechanics during this. So, I built this little channel, because the villager will eventually fall down here. They seem to be glitchy. When he was born, you could hear him, but you couldn't see him. He was completely invisible. And he then eventually ran over here and went through the portal. But what... Wow, that is really loud. <laughs> anyway. So, I know that the crops will grow in the nether. You can see the guy over there's starting to grow. He's at the second stage. Uh, this one, I think, is potatoes. Now, if they don't plant it fast enough, this is a problem with being in the nether. If they don't plant it fast enough, it will turn back to dirt. I've only had that happen once, but what I need to do here, no, I need to get these guys a little bit closer, so let's do this, there we go, damn you, fine, we'll do it, damn you, Okay. <laughs> Why? Why won't you do what I want you to do? Bastard. Fine, I will break you. And there. Jerk. So, what I want to do here is get this fence right in the guy's way. Uh, let's put a block there. Oh, dear. Come on. I want, I want out. Flying would be great. Uh, I've also, I've upped my field of view, which causes my depth perception to be significantly derped. So I don't really 
things just kind of seem off. So basically what this is for, this is to keep him as close as possible to the iron fence. Pink eyes, he used... Uh, what do you use there? He used glass. But to be honest, I don't really care about... You know, aesthetics at this point. I want function. And since it's in the top of the nether, I don't really give a fuck. Alright, so let's break this guy. And... And... Do the same over here. So, what I'm going to end up doing... There we go, there we go, fall down, Boop. perfect, is I am going to just let this kind of go, I'm going to show you what I've got for villagers right now, which, to be honest, is a whole lot of fuck all, actually, can I do... Can I actually do this right on the torch? No! No, I cannot. Everything just seems so off to me. Feel the view on this. I don't remember it being like this, to be honest. I don't recall the feel the view being this strange. But, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. And we break you. So now these guys should have full access to their respective gardens, be trapped, and be really close. So as soon as they fall in love, they will poop out a baby. The baby will fall into this trench. Got my button back. Come over here. And they'll try to escape to the roof of the nether, but they'll end up uh, apparently glitched in a wall there. Whatever. They'll end up over here. Now, I do have my other guy here. Hey, you've grown up! Oh, you grew up into a blacksmith. Exactly, you got shit deals. And this guy should eventually make his way over to his buddies. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to kind of lock off these areas. Come on. Come on, guy. If not, I will just, you know, do what I'm doing. Getting a bit of lag here. Don't, no, don't you. Are you? Why are you going so slow, man? <laughs> what the hell? Why is this guy moving so slow? This isn't right. Hey! Go! No! No! Okay. Come on. Come on, guy. It's... Alright! Well, that worked. Okay, whatever works. So this I blocked off because this leads down. Uh, do I have? I do not have. And I don't. I don't want them down here. So I'm actually gonna block that off. Because again, inside doesn't matter. Outside does. And I'll do that. Actually. Let's do this so they can only get in. It's one way. Boop. There. So as they produce and come out of here, they'll go into their little cages. And once I've got, you know, two in each cage, I'm going to move this portal down. So right now we're at the top layer. And of course, once I do that and put the water streams in, then everything's going to be great. Oh, and as you saw, I came out this portal. Because apparently, no matter what you do, like, 
I broke that portal. I broke this portal that was here. I broke the portal that's over there. And left only the portal up top. And yeah, it created a new portal right beneath here. Like down in, you know, the nether proper. As opposed to going to the portal on the roof. So it looks like they've changed it so that it's only checking up to like 128 in the nether for portals. So if you have a, a portal on the roof of the nether, it's exit only. That I was not aware of. So at this point, I am just going to hang out here and... Well, let these guys do their thing. I'll probably go and get some bone meal and... Bone meal these guys up. Alright, anyway, I'll be back. Welcome back, everyone. So... Uh, this has been cock up after cock up after cock up. So I built this upper one incorrectly. I had it too long, but I thought that I had it lined up properly with the one down below. So I shrank the one down below by one. And then when I came up here, I realized that this one was too wider in that direction too wider than the one below and I was just like what the fuck did I do rah, 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 rah. <laughs> so I basically I've rebuilt that one twice just this wall but I rebuilt that one twice uh, the villagers that were in here um, well they pissed me off so I killed them um, I've got villagers in each one of these except another cock up I did I only did two per, because for some reason I thought that it was only two. And you've got a baby. So it's just this guy's, this guy's, these guys here. So, yeah, it turns out my original assessment of the way these guys breed was correct. Where it's entirely about food. Feed them food and doors. Food and doors. So these guys need to produce one. They're, they're, they're trying. They're trying, but, you know, it's hard. It's hard. Sometimes, you know, you've had a hard day. You've got a headache. You know, your partner just doesn't want to touch noses. You know, it's just... It's rough. It's rough. And these guys are having a hard time. You know, I can totally relate with them. So... On the plus side, everything seems to be going good. I'm basically at this point just waiting for, you know, these guys to make it a baby. Make it a baby. Once these guys have made babies, I'm going to start down there. But I've got the water streams all in place. Everything should be good. Hole goes down. And the slime below has a massive hole in its head. Uh, these ones here are still not right. They're, they're over this way too far. So what do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five. So it's just, it's just one block it needs to move to make it symmetrical. This should be here. I don't know if I actually give a shit about that, to be honest. Oh my god, you two! And basically what I did to get these guys breeding is I gave them each a stack of potatoes. You know. Make it the baby! These two are having the hardest time. If they don't breed, I guess shortly, I'm going to have to bring another baby villager over from my little breeding cell in the nether. And I was thinking, like, I originally wanted to build this in the nether. But apparently I didn't think about building it on the roof of the nether. Go figure. Come on, do it. Because I could easily build... Oh, no, I can't build one of these on the, in the nether because I can't have water streams. 
Uh, Iron Foundry I could if if there was spawn chunks in the nether, and I have not tested that. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. They seem to like it when I watch them for some reason. I don't know. Or at least that guy does. This guy, he's... He's having issues. Well, whatever. You guys, make it a baby. Make it a baby. So, I'm going to use carrots this time for the lower guys. And... Whee! Boop. Hmm. Now, this one is a little more difficult because of the cage. Hi! Made it. So, let's drop a them. And drop. Oh, you fucker! <laughs> there you go. Now you make it a baby. Make it a baby. So, hopefully... All right, you've already got the baby. I believe you... Yep, you've already got the baby. These guys already actually started breeding, which is kind of cool. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's just you. So what's up with this side? That makes them... So unagreeable. Luck of the draw? I also raised this up one so that it was three high just because it bothered me. <laughs> That's all. It just bothered me. I felt like the golems, if they had gotten into this, theoretically they could jump up onto here and fall out. I just didn't want to deal with that. Alright, so you guys just need to make it a baby. Make it a baby. But... I guess they're working on it. They're looking at each other. This is good. Oh. And now they're fighting. Oh, would you two just make up and touch noses already? So this here is freaking slime central. It's just kind of irritating. Oh, right. I have mob noises off. I was in the end trying to collect some ender pearls because I, I ran out. So, as you can see, I hollowed out his head. Oh! Look at that! It works! Woot! <laughs> Yay! We have iron! Excellent! All right, now I just need to set up a system to make them no longer iron. Make them dead. Come on. Come on. Whoa, that. Ooh. That Hoyt. There we go. Wonder why I can't. It just seems weird that I can't hit them. Ow, you bitch. Did they bring that fucking bug back where you can't hit their fucking feet if you can't access their fucking face? Like, I should be able to hit him. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not fucking with him right now. I will die. I will do something in there eventually. They'll, they'll forget about me. I don't even want to I don't even want to boat. I, don't, I can't speak! Yay! <laughs> I don't even want up there. I want up here. So this is good. This is very good. 
And I guess I don't really need three in there, then. Zombie trying to get out. Awesome. This this is this is excellent. And I believe those golems should be far enough away that they won't they don't register as the village. I didn't actually count that. I I know this one will continue to produce, but this one I'm pretty sure will. But even if it doesn't, let's be honest, it really doesn't matter all that much because when I've got it set up, it's going to be they're going to fall into lava. It's going to cook them and they're going to die. And I'm going to get the delicious, delicious iron because it's delicious. Anyway, that is good. That is the iron farm done. Fully operational. Now I just need to kill a chicken. And finish up the design of it. Finish up the skin, as it were. So, I'm not 100% sold on this. I'm gonna probably finish this side and then just kind of... Tweak it? Twink it? It's like a Twinkie. I'll tweak it. I have a couple ideas that I'm playing with in my head, but I'd want to see them. What I might actually do is load a backup of this in a creative world. And just derp around with it for a couple hours, maybe. I don't know. Speculation. But, anyway, I am going to end it here. Thank you all for watching. And you guys have a wonderful day. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, or add me to your Google Plus circles. I also have a Patreon campaign going on. Feel free to support me on there if you so desire.